My dear Mrs. Adams, I write my lovely wife, Adrienne. But alas, the subject is not so pleasant. I contemplate resigning my commission in the National Guard. Indeed, sir. When is violence justified in this revolution? When is it uh, an agreeable time for the people to rise up in the streets and well, conduct violent acts when they are claiming it is for the benefit of the people, of their rights and liberties, of liberty, equality, and fraternity? Can that be put in place of uh, other people's rights and liberties? Is violence justified? Mm, I do not see that violence could ever be justified in such a situation, sir. The French people have uh, drunk too heavily from the cup of liberty, and they have uh, given great license where it is, it is not to be borne, sir. The destruction of private property, the threat against citizens who have done no wrong. Perhaps you are right, madame. Indeed, I was placed in command of the National Guard. For what reason? But to preserve the rights and liberties of the people and to maintain order mm. out of chaos. I suppose, madame, that uh, if the people feel that violence is justified, then their reasoning behind it is wrong. For example, it was on the 17th day of July of 1791 that uh, an assemblage of the people, of the citizens of Paris, had gathered on the Champ de Mars, and there they were contemplating the removal of the king, of ending the monarchy. Well, I suppose if it was done in a peaceful manner and no violence was conducted, it would be one thing. But the reality was two people were hanged, there was a great deal of violence, and property was destroyed, so of course I was called in to maintain order where there was chaos. And as a result, madame, because there was so much disorder and chaos, I was forced to fire upon the mob to maintain that order. There was loss of life but order was maintained. I do not think that I made the incorrect decision, but the reality was, it was the people that brought it upon themselves. It was the mob. Indeed, I have experienced mob rule myself uh, in the early years of our own revolution when uh, my husband, Mr. Adams, was called to defend uh, British soldiers and their leader who had been accused of murdering American citizens. You would know it as the Boston Massacre, oh, yes. sir. Everyone turned against the British except for John Adams, who stood for them in court and all were acquitted. Well, at least law prevailed. I fear that at this stage in my revolution, uh, well, law has, well, has hidden itself. And now those select few who are calling themselves champions of the people, well, are in truth looking after their own best interests. And now uh, the mob does rule to a degree, and thus my place in commander of, as commander of the National Guard will, will not bring about any great benefit, but I fear that even I could be brought up on the other end of Madame Guillotine. Let us hope that truth and justice let us hope that the great ideals of the revolution, whether they be American or French, shall prevail in the end. Mm -hmm.